Hello Multiverse, welcome to Omniverse Gamers. My name is Damian Bazayo. Today's video we're going to talk about grappling. Why it's uh, misunderstood, misused, way underrated, way underused in my in my opinion. Because, well, it's not underused in my game because I use it all the time. Um, so a lot of people are confused about the mechanics of grappling. and They don't, they just don't understand it. And they're like, why would I? It, it doesn't make any sense. It doesn't do anything. It doesn't, it, all I'm doing is touching somebody. It doesn't do anything. And, you know, some, they're, they're kind of not wrong. But grappling can lead to so many fun dynamic things in combat that people just don't think about um so what is grappling and grappling basically it takes the place of an attack or sometimes you can use a bonus action but basically a grapple you use your athletics to try to grab somebody that's basically what you're doing when you try that they can use their athletics to try to no you're not getting me or they can use their acrobatics to wiggle away they have two choices to get away whereas you have to use athletics to grab them that's how grappling works. If you grab them, if you actually if you succeed, your high, your score is higher than theirs. You have grabbed them. Now you don't. You're not wrapping them up. You're really just grabbing them by the by whatever body part you choose to grapple. You just kind of you have them, so they can't run away from you. You're not pinning them or putting them in a headlock. It's the misconception that you were just basically holding them. They can't get away. So on its own, that does nothing. Grappling. All the only difference is they can't move. Their speed is zero. When you move, you can pull them with you, and you get half of your speed. So that's all the benefit of grappling on its own. However, if you add grapple, there's a couple different things you can do with grappling that people don't think about. One, if you grapple somebody, their speed is zero. If you then spend your next attack to shove them and make them prone, a prone creature has to stand up for half of its movement. A grappled creature has zero movement. So you literally, if you're grappled, and you're prone, you cannot stand up. You are you are prone, and you that's the, all you can do is use your action to try to get out of that grapple. That's all you can do, basically. You can you can attack with disadvantage because you're prone. You can still attack with your other sword, but you can't move. You can't stand up. You can try to wiggle away. Basically, you can you can use your acrobatics or athletics to try to get away from their athletics again. That's basically how grappling works. People don't think about the shove fact. Another thing people don't think about is that if you grab somebody, you have them grappled on your next turn. You can move them. You don't have to move. You can throw them. Like, I, I do it a lot. I mean, there's no rules technically for throwing, but there's nothing saying. If, if I have you, I grappled you, I'm going to make another. I, I usually let them make another athletics check, the second one. And if they I have them to grappled, and if they make a second athletics check and they fail, now I have you and I'm going to throw you. I'm going to take you and I'm going to take your body and throw it. Not very far. It depends. I mean, like I have trolls I've used that I can throw. I usually get like 20 feet. I can throw a person. It's not that far. There's something I let, like I let our uh, our pugilist, he's a grappler. I let him throw things 60 feet, 20 feet accurately, 60 feet inaccurately. If they're, depending on how heavy they are. Like a medium creature can go about, you know, he could throw about 30 feet. But like a goblin, he could throw a goblin 60 feet. No problem. He just, rah. It's just something people don't think about a lot. Another thing that's good grappling is good for, if you have party members that have an armor class of like 22, 23, and you're like, oh my God, this, this monster is never going to hit them with their plus five bonus. If you give that same monster a plus seven in athletics, now you have an opposed roll against them. They don't just automatically miss if you roll bad. They have to roll good on their athletics. It's a way to hit people with a lot of armor to grab them and do things with them. Shove them, shove and prone work both the same way with athletics. So if you can shove someone on the ground, they have disadvantage. Then you can grapple them. They can't get up. They're they're down. They, sh shove and grapple together are deadly, especially to a mage. You can like, like my paladin could come out of mage, shovel, grapple. I had tavern brawling paladin. So then, if you add something like tavern brawling feet to the mix, you can make an attack for free with an improvised weapon. You, so you attack with an improvised weapon. You then get a grapple check for free. So you're getting a bonus well for a bonus action. So you're hitting them. You're using your bonus action to grab them on your next turn. You can use your action to either pin them shove them prone or to throw them are you so with and if you have tavern brawling technically throwing a person a person is an improvised weapon so i mean it doesn't deal a lot of damage but like my monsters a lot of time i'll grab a i'll grab a party member i'll throw him into another party member so it just it's a way to control battle or i just grab a guy and bring him with me i have all my big monsters with tentacles i always try to grapple people and put them in my mouth or fling them or Usually, sometimes I pick up, like, you got, okay, so you got a guy with a bunch of armor, he's an armor class of 20, he's wearing plate mail, he weighs, you know, 250 pounds with his armor on, I'm like, maybe 300 with armor on, okay, so my big giant tentacled monster is going to grab him, I got him grappled, I'm going to pick him up, I now have a 300 pound weapon that I'm just going to smash other people with, so I'm using the one party member to hit the other party member, as that party member is grappled, he's trying to get out, and he's just getting smashed into the other member, it's just a really great 
Um, people don't think about grappling in that way a lot, and it's a really good way to control the battlefield and to change your attacks up. Yeah, you can just have your guy come in and a swipe, deal a D8 plus 9, you dealt him damage, great. But if you can grab that guy, throw him into a wall, I usually, when, usually when you hit a wall, I do fall damage, so however far you get thrown, like if you get thrown 10 feet, you take 6 damage if you hit a wall, if you get thrown 20 feet and hit a wall, it's 2D6, that's just how I, and you can get, you know, you can do your fall dexterity check, take half, I just, I think about falling and throwing the, the same way. So it's just, an, just another interesting way to use grappling that people, that, you know, I, like I said, I come from 3rd edition where grappling was really cool and the mechanics were really great. Whereas 5th edition, it's kind of loose and people don't get it. And actually the grappler feat itself is useless. You don't, all the only thing the grappler feat does for you is if you have somebody grappled, you get advantage on your attacks against them, which if you prone them, you already have advantage against them and they can't get up. So it's, it's like, why waste a feat on something that you can already do with a bonus action? You know what I mean? It's just, it's just a weird, but, and the other thing grappler feet does is that you pin somebody, you can restrain them, but then you yourself are restrained. So why would I want to make myself restrained to pin somebody else when I can just grapple prone them? They still can't get up. They're not restrained. They can still attack me, but they have disadvantage and I, I, I still have the advantage against them all day long. And so is my other part. I can grapple, shove. So if I have multi-attack as a fighter, I grapple a guy, I shove him, I have him prone on the ground. My rogue can come over and just pound on him. They, 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 he's got to have advantage every time he hits this guy. This guy's not getting up. My rogue can just sneak attack, sneak attack, sneak attack. Anybody else can just get advantage. You know what I mean? So it's 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 a really good thing to use as a PC. It's a really good thing to use as a DM. Like I said, throwing players around, tavern brawling and grappling, giving your monsters, things like that, really make a huge difference. So that was just a short video on grappling, why you should be using it, what ways you can use it. Don't, you know... I, I, I obviously add to it a little bit. I manipulate it, but it makes my combats way more fun when I throw people around. They don't like, oh my God, you're throwing me at like that. But yeah, yeah, I'm throwing you. This is, this is what's happening. You got to deal with it. It just It's a way to make regular mundane monsters, give them some athletics, use some grappling techniques, pin your guys down, throw them, throw rocks at them, shove them into things, use grappling and shove. I kind of, they're kind of the same, in the same vein as, as that. And they work, like I said, grappling and shove together are deadly. So that was my short video on grappling. Hope you start using it. Um, Omniverse Gamers, like, subscribe, all that. I um, hope you can use this in your games and uh, keep on gaming.